flexible PCB actuators. I have a new idea. So you're probably wondering what the heck is this thing. Let me explain. These arms over here are going to bend like this. And here I want to put a magnet. Now the plan is to move this magnet down and up. And I'm hoping that when the magnet is pushed upwards, the whole thing will just jump. This is going to be completely different from every project I worked on so far because we're going to keep the flexible coil fixed and instead we're going to actuate these tiny magnets. So as usual I'm going to order this flexible PCB from PCBWay. So for the first test I'm just going to use some double sided tape and glue it to the table. Now because this is just a prototype I only put an H bridge on this PCB. So we're going to send the signals externally on these wires via microcontroller. Okay so let's turn this on. Now let's vary the frequency. That's pretty smooth. Now I don't think it can lift a lot of weight. Let's try adding the small potentiometer. Ah, that's better than expected. Let's try and add something bigger. So I'm going to try adding this female USB port. Okay, that's I think a little bit too much. Hmm. We try and vary the frequency. I mean, it's lifting it, but it's a little unstable. There may be some cool applications for this, but I think the thing that we're most curious about is if it can actually jump or not. So, because of the wires, it's not going to lay completely flat on the table, but let's just try it out. Hmm. Now, here's where my expectations for this project started going down, because at first I couldn't get it to bounce. But then I noticed that the table was still a little sticky from the double sided tape and by cleaning it, it kind of made it work. <gasps> it jumps for a second. Yeah, it is jumping. By a few millimeters, but it is jumping. Now, to be honest, I wasn't completely happy with these results because the wire was limiting its movement. So instead, I found this tiny coil and decided to use its wire, which I think is less than a 0.1 millimeter thick. So, to create a little more suspense, I'm going to start with a slow mo. What? <laughs> what the heck? I was not expecting it to jump this high, but scientifically it makes sense when you consider that the magnets take more than 85% of the total mass. And there you have it, the world's first jumping PCB. Just remember to subscribe if you want to see more weird PCB stuff like this one. See you soon.